Okay, so it's too bad I have to shoot them from my phone, but this is just how it's going to work. So um, I just ended up finishing with that USB drive, put uh, Windows 10 on it, formatted an XFAT. Now I'm actually just going to restart the computer here. I have like next to nothing plugged into it, just my mouse, keyboard, and one monitor. One of the things about having multiple um, video cards and then having all of these monitors plugged in is sometimes you you don't know necessarily where, like technically it's always card one, but in this case, card one tends to be the bottom card in uh, in the stack. But if I'll, I'll plug my like TV in, and then what happens is I go to reboot and I'm expecting it on my monitors, but it's on the TV and I don't have the TV on, so then I don't know what's going on with the system. So a lot of times when you're configuring and things like that, like the less stuff you have plugged in, the less confusion you're going to run into. So that's why like I have a huge stack of USB and everything else that's not plugged in yet is because we're going to plug them in when the time comes and that's how we're going to deal with stuff. I also tend to um, default to a hardwired keyboard because sometimes certain wireless keyboards don't always respond in time for when you want them to. Uh, so yeah, all my RAM's there. You can see uh, processor speed 4200. Um, doesn't say uh, DDR2 2933. And uh, those are just like quick settings that I had to, to do and everything seems seems to be working pretty good at 1.3, um, 3875. Um, all I'm really doing on this one is I wanna change my boot options around from being the boot manager here to just the standard USB flash disk non EFI and disable everything else. Okay. So one other thing um, with it too is is a lot of times you have to turn on virtualization and uh, to be honest I don't even remember where they are in this board one of them's in I think the CPU configuration I found it um, F SVM mode I believe but there's two of them um, again I'm not really like wanting to do uh, step by step on on how to do it but there is two of them that you have to enable and if if you don't have them enabled when you boot up, your, your Linux won't be able to do virtual machines. And I can show you that here. So I'm just gonna save and exit here. So all I did was I just wanna tell it to boot off of my Linux or um, USB drive there. Hopefully everything goes smooth. So in this case, I want to have, uh, oh, I might have missed it. So in this case, it's booting into um, the OS so quickly because I had changed it that um, it's gonna be headless. But I can quickly log into my phone and I'm gonna do a quick configuration from my phone because it, it works actually pretty well from the phone. And then, uh, like on the video, I'll do that. And then when I come back, I'll, I'll show you kind of what I've configured. I'll go back in and I'll, I'll load up the UI this time. I just gotta really be on it to do it. So that'll be the next video. Just let it boot up here. When yours boots up, it might not show as much stuff. I have quite a few things plugged in. Not only that, I also installed um, NVIDIA drivers into it too. So um, it can utilize video cards, uh, Plex can utilize video cards, the 3D graphics library here. Uh, but in all honesty, you basically have to have the RTX cards for it to really be beneficial. The 10 series do help, but not as much. So it's just going to stay here because all I have is the command prompt. I didn't load up the, the GUI, but I'm just going to access it uh, from my phone. 